Hi again everyone. This is the third weekly exercise for the Studio module and this week we're going to transform your speed forms into some kind of product. Before I talk about this product, let's just have a recap of where we should be right now. So last week you were to complete two pages of your speed form transformations and they were inspired by your original observation sketching of those paper strip sketch models. At the end of the day, we should be able to see that continuity of form and shape and structure being inspired by the previous week's exercise. I guess the first thing to note is that each of your speed forms are going to be transformed into very different products. So take some time to have a look at your speed form and see what products the form that you've come up with could lend itself to. And once you've decided on a product, I'd definitely do some visual research just to see what sort of features would normally be on the product that you're about to convert your speed form into. For this sketch, I decided to convert the speed form into a dishwashing brush where it had a streamline handle, maybe some sort of soft touch area for your palm, and a flip top lid that allowed you to fill the container with some detergent. With these product sketches, it's important still to include your center lines and your contour lines, a little bit of hatch shading to communicate form, and of course, vary your line weight to add dimension to the sketch. So the requirement this week is to convert all your speed form sketches, so that's two pages, of four speed forms converted to a product. And in terms of level of completion, I'd like all your sketches to be finished to this level, okay, where we have line weight, hat shading, center lines, and contour lines. Remember, the method that we're learning here is the overlay technique, and it's a really useful, powerful way of generating ideas if I use this sketch as part of my process and then decided to make modifications to improve it, I would end up with something like this. Now this is not what we're going to do for this project. I just wanted to show you that we could use this sketch as part of a process to continue to develop a product. I've made some modifications. I included an on-off button, which means that it's battery powered so that I could have the brush oscillating. I've made the front reservoir transparent. I've included some action arrows to show the direction of moving parts. And I've labeled all the key features with annotations. Another example for you, I decided to convert this speed form into a socket wrench. And a socket wrench is similar to a spanner. And its purpose is to work with bolts. So it basically comprises of a handle, a socket, which comes in various sizes. It locks in. Of course, then you've got a you've got a release button, and then you've got a lever that basically controls the clockwise or anti-clockwise movement. As you know, when we use a center line or a contour line, they are just there to help describe surface. So they're kept quite light. But then when you have a part line, that's going to be quite well defined. Now, what is a part line? Part lines are really important to include in your sketching. Essentially, they are the point at which two parts separate. So with a product like this vacuum flask, the part line is obviously where the lid separates from the main body. We also have part lines on features like this spring-loaded push button which allows access to the drinking hole, there will be a part line where the button protrudes through the hole in the lid. And depending on the product, you may have part lines that are not functional, like this part line here, which is the assembly point of the base of this flask. If we have a look at this handset, its casing is essentially made up of two moldings. The top molding, which is silver, and the bottom molding, which is black. And where it separates, of course, is our part line. And that part line would indicate where it separates for assembly and fitment of all the internal componentry. 
One thing to be mindful of when you're sketching and designing for that matter is the difference between a part line and a design line. So here we've got the back of the unit. This is obviously the battery cover. And we have a part line that runs in this profile and shape. Now to separate the battery compartment, obviously we slide that back and where that separates is the part line in our sketch. But have a look at this here. This line here follows the same profile as the part line, but there is no material separation. And that's called a design line. It's there for aesthetic reasons, but there is no separation of part at that point. So this is something that we want to be aware of when you're sketching as well. Moving to the front face, you can see that this lens, which is high gloss and transparent, that is of a different material and finish. So there would be a part line where it was actually fitted. The keypad is also made of a different material. And with each one of these buttons that have to move freely from this top molding, there are part lines around each of those buttons. This four-way toggle button moves freely from that top casing, so we would also show that as a part line in our sketching. Okay, so just to repeat, once you've decided what product you want to convert your speed forms to, I definitely have a look at some existing products. That way you can just get familiar with the type of features and functional controls that you would normally see on that kind of product. I would definitely pay attention to part lines and the way things are actually put together so that you can include that in your designs. Also try and show some variation. So you might have some handheld tools, you might even have furniture, you might have something with a screen, with buttons, with a brush, maybe it's a power tool, you know, like a drill. Um, it's completely up to you. Okay, but I look forward to seeing these on Thursday. And just to remind you, that's going to be two A3 pages with four sketches per page of speed forms that have been converted to products. Okay, good luck and have fun with this one.